Hey everybody, welcome back to Red's Homestead. I'm Red, thank you for stopping by to watch. Today we are going to plant the tomatoes, finally. You can see the tomatoes are pretty lengthy. These are the ones we've grown from seed. They're starting to show signs of they're needing more than what's just in the soil, so that's a tall tale sign to get them in the ground. Basically, we're just going to dig a trench here. You can see I've already started it halfway here. We're going to go all the way down to the end here. And we're going to lay them sideways when we plant them so the roots will uh, we'll have more roots. We'll get into that. Alright, so I started with a nail here. I'm going to use that as a guide. I made a, I've already made a line all the way down to the next nail. So, uh, Using one of these, I'm just going to dig down probably fist level. About as wide as my fist, because that's about how wide these pots are. And about as deep, so I just use my fist as a reference. I have to dig it two ways, back and forth and then left to right. Alright, so now that I've got somewhat of my trench here, we are going to be putting down our Makos Pure Mycorrhizal Inoculum. Uh, my whole garden's full of this stuff and I swear by it. Helps promote root growth. Plants respond with it really quickly. You just want to get it down on where anywhere the roots are going to touch. Here you see we've got, they're more than 12 inches long. Fairly good size. So, all the bottom leaves you have on there, pop those off. Maybe even that one. Throw them down. Everywhere you've got another node here, and the hairs, all those together we're gonna create new roots. More roots, more fruits. So, Pop these out, take a look at the uh, root. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice and white. Very nice and pretty. That's how I like to see them. Now, planting them, this one we're going to go this way. You guys can see that. That's how I'm going to do it, and we'll do that all the way down. Get that piece of grass out of the way, y'all can see it. Even though it's laying down when the sun hits it, by tomorrow or the next day, it'll be sitting up like this. So, that's what we want. That's how we're going to do all of them. The mycorrhiza down is going to help promote this. It's, it's going to help promote the roots here. It breaks down the food in between the roots and the soil, where the roots touch the soil. We call that the rhizosphere. That's where all the action and magic happens, and the uh, mycos really help to boost that along. Push this down just a smidge to, uh, I'm gonna squeeze up my root ball here too. Get it loosened up. No air gaps. We'll put 
that one right on the nail to keep us center. I said stay on the nail. There we go. Right. We've got a little bit of rain. Here's a minute ago. That will help clay up our soil here. All right, and we'll move on to the next one. It's another long, lengthy one, more than 12 inches out of the pot. These little smaller shoots I had coming here that never really made it to the canopy of the light. Uh, once they're below the light canopy, they're not really gonna grow. Not to be like this. This one took over them with the other ones in the canopy and just made too much shade over it and the light just couldn't penetrate it. So we may pull it, just pull it out and throw it to the side. I don't know. It's got a little bit of a root system I can save. We'll keep it in some water and see how we do. Remember to squeeze, kind of don't pull it apart but just kind of squeeze and put it right up beside that one I'll just keep them going. All right, now that we're done, we've got all of them in a row. We laid all of them on their side, and about tomorrow or the next day, they'll all be standing up nice and tall. And they'll be off to the races. We'll start the training. Uh, we're going to train these things to come up. And it'll be a whole trellis, so come up this way here. And this way we'll have a panel that goes all the way across. Once we train them up about, I don't know, shoulder height, we're going to build a little uh, lattice box up top. We'll let it all go to fruit. So it'll be fun. I'll show you guys how to do it. Uh, the corn, you see our experimental corn has been doing amazing, doing great. The peaches and cream. Uh, we scrapped the other corn here. That we had the ratio to what was coming up was just not enough per se so we scrapped it we're killing off the, uh, the weeds and we're going to do more of the squash because we overdid the squash and nowhere to put them so that'll be the best just to get them in the ground we did end up buying some uh, golden zucchini never think I don't think I've had any of those hopefully it's just not, not yellow squash they're just calling it something different <laughs> funny would that be but uh, beans taken off that's doing good all the taters the white taters the gold taters they're wanting to go to flour so when she starts making flowers that means she's making taters the purple the purple here are making flowers so they're about to get another phosphorus feed and that'll really help push those flowers out uh, the uh, blueberries we ended up getting a whole bunch of blueberries I think we got four or five different kinds that's one two three four five yeah we got five different blueberries here see the uh, blackberries are putting on them fruit they're almost ready we'll let them ripen out and hopefully we can get the other side of the greenhouse done up for all the berries the sweet potatoes here I made a took two tomato cages upside down 
and just placed in there and tied all the uh, the vines coming up to keep them off the ground. I just kind of tie them up or weave them in and out of there. So they've completely taken off. Everything looks good over here. We got our squash. This was the earliest ones we planted. Or latest, I'm sorry, latest, earliest. These are a little bit bigger. I got two more cucumbers I gotta plant. We got all the cucumbers over here. We're gonna let them go up. We got watermelon and cantaloupe over here up against this fence. <clears throat> so things looking good. We busy busy. You guys up in here show you guys what all's going on. The peppers are starting to put on their true leaves. They're loving this grow light here. It's 130 watt from White Rose. Can't even find these anymore. They were like a one-time deal when I call them. They're 58 bucks and uh, they were just trying to get rid of them. Nice hanging design. It's got a veg and a flower switch. But once they start to go to fruit, we'll switch the light. You see how it's red? And that's for veg. Uh, Mrs. Red took the tops off the onions. So she's got those in the dehydrator right now. She's going to be making onion powder. So that's cool. Strawberries are doing good, putting them on. Nice and seedy. I think we've got three different varieties of strawberries here. So that's always a good thing when you're looking for cross pollination. Uh, our lettuce. The lettuce is taking off pretty good. You guys can see I had a perfect line here, but a cat or a chicken or something got in here and scratched around and threw all the seeds around as they were germinating. We've got our big ones over here. I've been piling up dirt around them just for support. The beans and peas, you can see they're doing good on their trellis. This one's climbed all the way to the top. It's reaching for more. I may need to connect it from here to here. And the misters, we got the misters going. They're not on, but they're rocking. I've got two of them set up. I don't know if you guys can hear me with this fan. That's probably a bad idea. Uh, there's two misters set up there. And uh, I'm on a Y split. And then they split off from there. That one goes around and then goes all the way down. And this one goes down and then loops back. It loops back here and then goes back this way. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So everything's growing. Everything's progressing, guys. We're still doing good over here. But that's how I do my tomatoes. Uh, hopefully you guys are in the months of getting y'all's tomatoes in the ground or you already got your tomatoes in the ground. You're getting some tomatoes. Let me know. Show me what you got and everything. All right. I'll see y'all.